Hey, this is JC at JC's Comics and Morgan Pop Culture Superstore, 6725 West Central Avenue. That's uh, Toledo, Ohio, 4361-741-531-6097. Instagram at JC's Comics and More, www.jcscomicsandmore.com. And of course, body counts in the house. Apologize uh, last week. Here's Chuck. Got Joel in the study camp. Apologize last week for not having a uh, video up. I tried to put a video up. Uh, my memory card, this is a fresh memory card. I had my old memory card. It was running out. I ran out of time. I tried to pull comics out just to burn through the covers really quickly and could not do it properly. So I did not feel it was up to my standards. So rather than have give you guys a... Uh, uh, half-assed shoddy product I decided to not uh, to not show that however if if you guys want to see that video I still have it I haven't deleted it I need you to comment I need 60 comments I need like 60 comments I've got almost 800 subscribers 60 comments at less than 10%. That's not much to ask for. 60 people say, yeah, we want to see that video. We want to see how crappy bad it is and how you just try to just rush it through. I'll post it. But you got to give me 60. You got to give me something. You guys can't give me 60. You don't get to, you don't get the uh, you don't get the ice cream. Okay, let's see what's in this prize box here. We got just a couple of boxes. This is probably my other box of Dan Lee Pops that came in. If you want to see the Stan Lee Pops, watch my previous video I uploaded to, uh, of me unboxing uh, product. I got Stan Lee Pops, I got Dark Phoenix, I got Hellboy, I got Brian Polito's uh, Femme Fatale's Lady Death uh, PVC statue. I've got the Thor PVC statue. I've got the Batman uh, set one of the little miniature black and whites. And we've got the Creep Show and the Reanimator figures on there as well. So, you want to see that? You go, go check out that video. Now, let's see what's in this box here. Might be maybe the Rick and Morty figure that I got shorted or was damaged. No, it's uh oh cool, and they're open too, so I can read them. So we have a Sonic Tango and Whisperer little promo poster. I'll be sure not to put up since I only sell a couple copies of Sonic. Uh, we've got this Godzilla Aftershock, part of the Monsterverse. This is from Legendary Comics. Cool. That's very cool. I'm looking forward to reading this. I don't know if this is, might be a precursor to the the new film that's coming out. So if you're a Godzilla fan, here you go. We got something for you. These run $24.99. Bought a few of them, so uh, Godzilla sells fairly big in my store. However, I didn't sell a single Godzilla figure on Free Comic Book Day. Very disappointed by that. Very disappointed by that. Here we have issue number 19 of The Creeps. So this is a nice horror magazine that's been coming out. Sort of take the place of like what Creepies and Aries were. You have an artist here that he is, uh, since John Buscema is no longer with us, he is taking up John Buscema's style. Benito uh, Galilego. But you look at his stuff, it's like, oh, that's John Basama. That's John Basama all the way. Somebody sort of influenced by Big John. Of course, we've got a few copies of The Creeps on the back cover. You've got a Death Dealer 3. This must be a, it's a lithograph. So certainly check that out if you're interested, if you're a Frazetta fan. This unfortunately is not open, so I cannot read this. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man, Volume 5, The Ultimate Newspaper Comics Collection, 1985 to 1986. Uh, 
a customer from uh, the Bowling Green area. Brian, this is here for you. You know who you are, Mr. Brian H. That's it for this box. So, I'm going to pause this quickly and we'll move on to the next box. Okay, we've got a 55 pounder here. See what's in here. And lots of good comics for sure. So I've got just true, two true boxes full of comics this week. I see War of the Realms, I see Skyward, I see Amazing Spider Man. First off, we're going to see from Image Farmhand. Now, I ordered more than two copies. My other copies are who knows where they are in these boxes. Somebody didn't micromanage the person putting these boxes together. Uh, this is cover A of Incredibles 2, number 2, from Dark Horse. We got the Aberrant, season 2, number 2. This is cover... Looks like this is, might be cover cover C, or maybe cover B at the very la very least. Uh, here we have a scoundrel in his own right. Part of Star Wars Age of Rebellion. Lando Calarizian. Terry Dotson cover. That's the cover A. So we've got sort of the cover B's and C's and D's and a lot more. Got Sabrina the Teenage Witch. This is cover C. This did not uh, sell that well when it came out, unfortunately, even with the Adam Hughes cover. Uh, I'm sure once it goes up in price, people will be scrambling to try to find them. Transformers 5, cover A. Make sure one of those covers gets set aside for one of my regulars. We've got Calamity Kate, issue 3. It gets set aside for a customer. This is my only copy that I order of this, this best-selling book, this, this, this behemoth of a title that Marvel would tell you and push, push upon you that should be canceled immediately. That is uh, a crime to trees. You think AOC would be uh, all over this, her and her green deal. It's like, you know, you want to save stuff, save some trees by not having this book published anymore. One copy. I order one copy. It's for a poll customer. Nobody asks for it. Nobody asks for it. Nobody. This is cover D of Tom Corbin, Space Cadet. No, it's James Bond. Really? You guys couldn't put that up here? And again, oh, at least they're putting the 15 here. You know, you don't know what 15 means. Is this issue 15? No, it's their 15th anniversary. Here we've got probably a very going to be a very sought after book. Uh, this is issue number twenty one. This is the Battle Lines variant cover of the Amazing Spider Man with a sexy black cat. A very sexy black cat. Sorry, I hit the steady cam and it got non non steadied. Speaking of Amazing Spider Man, this is. The 1 in 25 variant. Let me dig deep, pull, pull more of those sexy black cat covers out. I ordered quite a few of those. So we have another Battle Lions cover. This is for Immortal Hulk, number 17. We've got that there. I did not order a lot of those because most people want the Alex Ross cover. They don't care about the other variant covers. So we got more variant covers. This is for Star Wars number 666. Excuse me, number 66. This is the action figure variant. The Disco Han Solo cover. Got 
We got issue number two, A Fair Lady. This is cover A. That's set aside for a customer. We've got the cover B of Nightwing. Pretty nice cover. I did not order very many of those. Unfortunately, they do not sell very well, so I did not order very many of those. Cover A of the Aberrant. Again, set aside for one of my pool customers. We've got War of the Realms number one. Spider-Man and the Liege, League of Realms. Issue number one, that's cover A. Of course, it's the number one in an ongoing series. This isn't possibly a mini-series because if it was a mini-series, it would say so, right? I mean, it would say it was a mini-series, just like DC does. If DC does mini-series, they put it to mini-series. Oh, that's right. Marvel does not. My bad. Forgive me. Cinema Purgatorio, number 18. This is the modded cover. Let's get set aside for somebody. We've got Hell Witch from Brian Polito's Coffin Comics. So this is cover B on that. This is the Hell Queen edition. So I'll make sure some copies get set aside for a couple of my, couple of my Brian Polito old Chaos Comics fans. Now we saw the Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 25 cover. We saw the Black Cat cover for Amazing Spider-Man. Here is the regular cover to the Amazing Spider-Man. At least with this run, unlike the Dan Slott run, the logo is different color. Dan Slott run, I don't know if it was him who was behind it, but it was always red. It was always white. White with red. The Amazing Spider-Man logo changes, people. Look at some of the logo colors from the, from the 60s and 70s. Man, those things were colorful and they popped. War of the Realms. This is issue number four. Again, this is a miniseries. Does not tell you how many issues it's going to be. It's got a great Art Adams cover on it. But it doesn't tell you. Well, come on. Is it six issues? Is it seven? Is it eight? Is it twelve? Is it unlimited issues? But this is number four. The regular Art Adams cover. And art does not shy away from, look at the Enchantress there, stacked. Kiss, the end, number two. Cover A. We've got the Demon. So we got War of the Realms, an ongoing series, or mini-series as it should be, but it's not noted. Here we have Strike Force, The War Avengers. This is cover A. There's a cover B that we'll see as well. I'll just pull these out right now. This is the international uh, connecting variant for War of the Realms. And I see my other missing, well, at least one of my other missing farm hands. I could swear I ordered five copies of this. Again, micromanaged. The person was not micromanaged. So we didn't have to take them by their hand. Let's see if they did the job correctly. This is the premium foil cover of Hell Witch and that's set aside for one of my regular customers. See more cinema purgatorios. <coughs> I see a sky or skyward. This is issue number thirteen. My only copy ordered for a regular. This is the Code Pru cover of cinema purgatorio. Here is Titan Titans number thirty. We cover B. That. Uh, there we go. 
here's Fair Lady. This is cover B. So we've got a cover A and a cover B. I only ordered two copies. Here's the concept design variant for Lando Calrissian, Star Wars Age of Rebellion. Somebody's going to be very happy to get those. American Gods, issue number three, or number two, this is cover B. This is the David Matt cover, so copy that. It will get set aside for one of my regulars. Here is the cover B of War of the Realm Strike Force, the War Avengers. This is the Nick Bradshaw cover. Here's cover A's of Teen Titans. The Terminus uh, Agenda, the epilogue. Everybody's mad at Damien. How could he? Uh, he's Damien, duh. What did you think would happen? Batman number 71, Home Invasion. We see Daddy, Daddy's come home with Bane. Batman's got Daddy issues. That's the cover A. We've got the cover B's in here somewhere. Looking forward to reading this. This will be one of the first comics I read when I'm done with this box here. See the standard edition of Hell Witch, Hellborn number one. From Brian Palillo's ca uh, Coffin Comics. Looking forward to reading that. Make sure a copy of that gets set aside for one of my regulars. Okay, I see Uncanny X-Men. Uh, Uncanny X-Men here. Looks like Emma Frost is now the Black Queen. And then you've got Mystique in the background playing some sort of mischievous role. Uncanny X-Men, move those over. Okay. Let's see, we've got the next issue of Cinema Purgatorio. This is a more perfect union. Somebody needs to make a movie of this. Giant ants, giant army ants attacking the, uh, the United States during the Civil War. If you've not been reading this, it's damn good. We've got Betty Page number five. This is cover A. Issue four came out last week. And five came out this week. Let's see. This is Old Man Quill. Issue number five. This is the Battle Lines cover. Did not order very many of those. So don't delay. Come in today. Well, not today because I can't sell them to you today. Come in tomorrow. Guardians of the Galaxy, the Gamora cover. Gamora looking much better than she ever did in the movies. Um, but that's the Battle Lines cover on Guardians number five. So we've got the Hell Witch incentive cover. This is going to be set aside for one of my customers as well. 
from Brian Palato's Chaos Comics. We've got Star Wars TIE Fighter number two. I cut back on that quite a bit, so if you're interested, please get into the shop. It may be sold out if you show up a week from now. And we've got this book here. This, I'm going to save this comic. I'm actually going to save this for last. Because it's going gonna, gonna to get people fired up. I'm going to save that to last. We've got the new issue of American Carnage, issue number seven. A copy of that gets set aside for a regular customer. We've got Teen Titans Go! Issue number 34. So, going to be some families coming in with their kids looking for that. Got the new issue of Kick Ass. This is issue number 14. Cover B. So, going to be some happy people get to, to get their kick ass. Gideon Falls. Cover A from Image Comics. We've got. Look, it's Marlon Brando. Oh, it's James Bond. Again, pull this down, dudes. Put that behind him. Nothing wrong with that, Dynamite. Nothing wrong with that. So it's cover B. You see how many copies I'm ordering, Dynamite? Because you're pulling stuff like this, I order less copies. Because you want to put stuff like this, Dynamite, I will order less copies. In case you're wondering why your sales might be going down, Dynamite, buy a clue. I won't even charge you $250. I'm giving you this information for free. Bloodborne, issue 12, cover B. Set aside for a regular. Here we got Aquaman, issue number 48. Cover B, Josh Middleton cover, I believe. Pretty nice looking cover. We got Next Port of Earth, number 10, from Image, issue number 10, right there. We got Marvel Action. Spider-Man from IDW. An all-ages book. I wish this sold better than what it did. I sold copies initially when Into the Spider-Verse came out, but sales have really dropped off. They do the Avengers, and they also do uh, Black Panther. Sales are so bad on Black Panther, I am ordering one copy. I'm not sure if I'm selling one copy. If I'm not selling it, I will zero my orders out. That's how bad. People want to talk about how great Black Panther did as a film. It did. It's a billion-dollar franchise. Why don't you guys come read the comic books? Because the comic books would be lucky if it's a $10,000 franchise. It's cover A of War of the Realms Giant Man. Again, a new ongoing series, of course, because it would say otherwise, correct? Uh, Tom Foster is Goliath. Because you can't bring back Bill. Bring back Bill Foster. All the giant men of the Marvel Universe. We'll see how they uh, they can beat the Frost Giants. Here we have Jinx World. No, it's Pearl number nine. Make sure I set that aside for somebody since it's that cover will just get set right aside. Now, this is how you do it. There you go. Logo is at the top. This is cover C. What a striking cover that is. Have to get some of that shaken, not stirred. We have the Immortal Hulk number 17, the Alex Ross cover, of course. Lots of excited people for this here. Looks like it's very H.R. Giger uh, influenced on these walls. Perhaps a little nod to uh, one of the true masters. We've got some more of those Hulks. more of those hulks there it's selling much better so i keep increasing my orders and they say it outsells batman it does not outsell batman in my shop i'm sorry cover c of kick-ass number 14 
Here's the risque a copy of Hell Witch that's set aside for a customer. Actually, I've got two copies, so if you're interested in one of those naughty covers, we'll have that available. That uh, baby is 40 bucks. Speaking of uh, naughty covers, issue number 59 of Zombie Tramp. If you want to see more, come on into the shop. But that's being held inside for customer. Then we have Orphan Age number two from Aftershock Comics. Very disappointed I didn't see the Aftershock rep during Free Comic Book Day. I was kind of hoping to see her. Here's the connecting cover for Amazing Spider-Man number 21. So I believe I should have all my Amazing Spider-Man covers now. Sandman Universe uh, Lucifer number eight. Got a customer that that'll get set aside for. And we're almost at the end here. I gotta hurry up a moment. It's at the end of my video as well. This is the variant cover on Spider-Man Life Story 3, the 80s. Look, Mary Jane's all decked out in her uh, her uh, 80s gear with the stripper boots and everything. Planet of the Nerds number two. Make sure I get set aside for a customer. We've got Oblivious Song number 15. Make sure those copy that gets set aside for a customer. Here we've got the Web of Carnage number three. And uh, or number one. This is the second printing variant. Unfortunately, there are copies damaged to that. So I'll we'll have to call those in. As well as these here. These things are badly damaged. Look how badly damaged. A War of the Realm Strike Force the Dark Elf, Elf Realm. That's the cover A's. Those are damaged, so it means all the rest of the ones in here are damaged also. Yeah, those are damaged as well. Now the book I was waiting to the end to show you, because I know you you guys can't wait for this book. This is God, this is such a great book. People are just gonna be just beating down the stores. Look, it's AOL. Al Alexander Cortez. Her uh, freshman force book from uh, from Devil's Do. Devil's Do is proud about this. They show in letters from their haters, and Devil's Do has to be happy. This is probably their best-selling book in years. I guarantee this book probably has sold more copies than everything they've published combined in the last six months. So because it's a hot topic, epic top topic. You got Nancy Pelosi here. We got Nancy Pelosi. You got uh, you got a takeoff on Red Sonia cover. Um, this is a comic that there you go. There's a scary orange man, and then there's the scary the scary uh, the uh, scary lady lady the scary whoopy lady. But uh, this comic here rips on the left. Seems to rip on the left as much as it does the right. It makes fun of her as well. But we've got copies of that. If you do like these videos, as always, be sure to subscribe. Smash that bell for notification. Smash that bell like you're smashing her face. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And watch for the next video coming soon. Take care.